I remember when I was six years old, my physiotherapist at the time, he gave me a tray and put glasses of water on it. He said, okay, you're gonna walk with this tray from here to that sink over there and go for it. And I was like, I can't. I can't do that. Like, he's like, well, why not? Like, because they'll spill. Like, it'll spill all over and it'll make a mess. And he's like, so it'll make a mess. It's water and it'll go on the ground and we'll clean it up. I mean, I remember doing it and crying, like bawling my eyes out because it spilt everywhere and I wanted to get it from point A to point B full, just like everyone else would. But he was like, so what? So it's built, you know, so you clean it up. So that was a huge life lesson, like, okay, so it's built, so I'll clean it up. That is a frustration of like, I just poured this tea and I'd really like to drink all of it, but I don't know. Three quarters of it is probably gonna be gone if I don't find someone else to take it for me, so. You could tell that we were both nervous. I was sort of nervous how they were going to take me and accept me. They were nervous to ask me questions and like, what if I say the wrong thing? Is she gonna get mad or be offended? I had probably the nicest team that's ever existed, but I just had to get to the point where I'm like, you were on my team. We want to win or create something that is useful. Ask me what you need to ask me. At first they were like, a couple there seems pretty simple. Like, are you sure there isn't something else that you... And I was like, well, yeah, you could create like, bionic legs, but you've got 48 hours, so I'm trying to help you out here. Like anyone should participate in a make-a-thon if they could, because it will like restore your faith in humanity.